On today's was of Anime Afterthought, Black Clover episode 150, Challenge of the Badens. 150 episodes. It honestly feels just yesterday we were hitting our 100th, and before that, I just feel like our journey was just beginning. It has been one hell of a ride. And might I say, it's about time that Grey gets some more attention. Judging by last week's preview, it looks like it's going to be a Grey-centric episode with some blue rose thrown in there. And that's absolutely perfect for me. I mean, like I said, Grey has not gotten a lot of attention. Here and there, yes, but a Grey-centric episode, I think it's about time for that. And as far as the Blue Roses are concerned, if we're gonna have Charlotte in this episode, please let there be a Charlotte slash Yami moment, because we all know those are some of the best moments. Anyways, without further ado, I'm, I'm ready to start, so let's go ahead and jump right in. It looks like she's well aware of what's going on and that she needs to not only either work on her flaws or work on her power, like... I wonder if there's an underlying reason for her shyness, though. Aww. <laughs> uh, it looks like she's choosing Noelle. Even though we know that Noelle has her insecurities, she does put on a very brave front. So, of course, you know, Grey would pick up on this. Wait, I just noticed. Why the fuck does Noelle have glasses? <laughs> Oh, here we go, Gordon. It's about time. I saw your ass in the preview. Yeah, let's do a doll as a test run, and then maybe you can work your way up from there. That makes sense. It's not like you're gonna get freaked out by a doll looking at you, right? <laughs> well, honestly, that is kind of a creepy looking doll, so I'd be a little freaked out too. I don't think shy or embarrassed, but... No, you said you wanted to do it as yourself. Yeah, but then again, you're still just pretending to be someone else, and now you're just mentally hostile. Yeah, they're not getting to the underlying reason of why. Why is she so shy? Why she gets so embarrassed? Exactly, what the fuck is he gonna teach you? I mean, he kinda does have that, yeah, that kind of overbearing, like, I don't give a shit type of personality, so maybe she wants that to rub off on her. The one thing you want me to do... Oh god, turn into Marie? Seriously, are you that much of a siscon? Oh god, she can't handle one person looking at her, now you're gonna have fucking a hundred mirrors? Oh god, Grey's voice actor is doing just a fucking phenomenal job with that stuttering. It's endearing, honestly, it's, it's cute, I just, oh, I feel so bad for her. Butterfly. Was it a magical butterfly? Was she hypnotized by the butterfly? A turtle. You're telling her to be a fucking turtle, and of course she lays on the fucking ground like a turtle. Oh, it actually worked! Still though, it feels like a... it feels like a cheat. Like, they're not actually talking about her insecurities or something. She even still feels a little anxious though, that's... Oh god. <laughs> it's, it's your turn now. <laughs> Does anyone else ship them? Like, oh god. I honestly think they would be a great pair. Oh, okay, that's sweet. Now I definitely ship them even more. It doesn't matter what you look like, you're gray. Oh, what? That was it? Oh, I wanted more gray. <laughs> you see what happened? You open the floodgate and this is what happens. Come on. Don't get mad just because you can't confess your feelings to Yami. Oh, I was waiting for one of them to call her out. Oh god, look at that pouty face. Oh, there sir was her developments. Yeah, they had a captain meeting about uh, devil banishers. Devil believers. I was gonna say something like this shit only works in anime, but I mean, look what we're watching, right? No fucking way Captain Yami would ever be that straightforward. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure she lost concentration because you mentioned Yami again. It's their plan of attack and it has to involve Yami once again. Come on. Oh, they're trying to find her a nice training partner? Hmm, I wonder who the fuck that could be. Wait, does this, do, does this lead us into the next episode with the, the what is it, Clash of the Captains? Oh, maybe this is leading to an actual Captain Clash. Oh, God. Holy fucking shit. Did that really just happen? Uh, and right there's the thumbnail. See, he plays obtuse. That's the thing. 
So they're gonna put on an event? Ah, oh, fuck you. Need you explain more. Clash the Battle of the Magic Knight Squad Captains. Now that is gonna be an interesting fucking episode. We're gonna see all the captains clash. It's gonna be one on one. It's gonna be team based. I don't know. I saw Jack there. I saw Dorothy Fagolion jumping off. You know, Salamander. Obviously, Yami's there. Ooh, that's gonna be if done right. If done right, that could be the animation climax of this little anime original filler episodes. Like that could be fucking beautiful. I mean, look at the opening. That's basically what the opening is. Is them just training, fighting each other. That's gonna be fucking good. Anyways, so today's episode, what did you guys think? What do you guys think about the first half? I mean, I love Grey. Grey is an interesting character, but obviously she does have that major, I mean, can you call it a character flaw or is it more of a character work? I mean, that's what kind of makes her cute, but at the same time, her perpetual shyness is almost like, I mean, to her, obviously, she isn't calling it a weakness. So what is the underlying factor? No one ever got to that. They just tried to work around it. They tried to force her through it without actually asking like, hey, is there a reason that you get so embarrassed when people look at you? Like no one simply asked her why. I mean, the best part about that, you know, I, I do give props to Noel and Gordon trying to, you know, first tell her to have a mental image without having a physical image of what you want to be. First mimicking, you know, Noel and then Asta and then Gordon trying to help with the dolls. But you got to give it to Ghosh and his one liner at the end because it doesn't matter what you look like. You're great gray on the inside like that's that's gonna go a long way and it looks like it really did have an effect but at the same time it doesn't really help with the underlying factor of why she is so perpetually you know embarrassed shy but I do have to give props to the fucking voice actor my god that stuttering is so endearing I mean I it, it's a little heartbreaking like she's trying so hard you know to try to surpass her limits just like all of her comrades but just like it she did an amazing job honestly like you could feel even with like with your eyes closed you can tell that what gray was going through like what the emotions she was feeling at the time like ha huh. now the other half of the episode once again is primarily focused on Yami x Charlotte and the will they won't they or the they will in the future I mean come on Tabitha come on like I was just as curious as the girls like I mean the last encounter was the mixer or at least you know I, I, I you know forgot I mean it was the mixer to me and I was like okay so has there there can't be any developments. You haven't seen shit. But lo and behold, they did have a captain's meeting after the Devil Believers, and it looks like Charlotte tried to make an attempt. But once again, the theme of today's episode is shyness, and hers just happens to be directed towards Yami. But I am, I, you know, I am really excited to hear that she has, you know, lifted. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't really a ban. It was just more like a. I don't know exactly what it was. I don't think it was a, a you know, a, a steadfast rule like no boys allowed. But they were really following in the captain's footsteps when it came when it comes to the opposite sex and they were avoiding men, I guess. But now that the floodgates are open, it looks like every girl has a boy and or multiple ones or they're on multiple ones. Like they're out there experiencing life, you know, as they want to, especially with the impending doom of a fucking war with another nation. Like, yeah, why not taste the sweet nectar of love while you are still alive? But I gotta say the funniest part of that was like the reason why that one girl is like, well, I just want to go on more dates with my boyfriend. So we got to get this shit over with. Let's go ahead and train. Like that was, that hit me. That fucking hit me. Um, But I got to say fucking when they talked about the Black Bulls as a training partner, not only to, you know, help them. I mean, each one would probably find an adequate training partner. I mean, they probably balance out pretty well. Obviously, they wanted to use that, you know, secondary as the <laughs> primary was to get Yami and Charlotte closer together because those two obviously are captain level. So, I mean, those would be really good sparring partners right and then as soon as I heard that I'm like this has to be leading to something you know and then Mark showing up and then you know Julius calling the magic knights and they're all entering it's like oh shit this is leading to the, the clash I mean I'm pretty sure I saw on Twitter too the guy who is in charge of it and he goes like hey I was in charge of the art and animation and direction of this episode so like I'm, I'm excited I'm fucking excited to see it but that last minute kind of grab that you see you know Yami catching her <sighs> like I said this there are relationships that you really, really want to have. Obviously today, once again, showcases Yami and Charlotte, but also Grey and Ghosh. Like, dude, you're gonna have to get over the fact that you have a sister. Like, yes, I know she's your precious little sister, but
but come on, man. Come on. You got Gray in front of you, and she is a fucking cutie. I mean, I don't expect her to make the first move. She literally is trying to get over her shyness. That's like her fucking weakness. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Today's episode, it was it was pretty good. It was very lighthearted, very endearing. I'm so glad that Gray got more attention. Like I said, we have to get under her underlying factor of her perpetual shyness, though. Like, we, we gotta we gotta start at the bottom and build a you know good foundation. Figure out what the fuck's up and help her from there. Uh, second half with Charlotte and Yami and just the whole relationship between them. Like I said, it's not even a will they, won't they. It's it's when will they. Like, it's gonna happen. Like, come on, come on, Tabata. You can't do that. You can't just build that up and not have any kind of resolution to that. But yeah, I loved it. Loved it. Super light, super endearing, all around good episode. And like I said, right off the bat, the animation and art quality was definitely above average. I mean, very good looking episode today. And fingers crossed, next episode is just as good. Because honestly, that preview, if them is fighting and then you see them in the dream world and a bunch of Yami's coming out and you see Jack out, like shit's going to get fucking wild. I mean, we're talking about the elite, the most powerful people besides, you know, Julius, the wizard king in the Clover Kingdom will be dueling. Like that is going to be a spectacle. I mean, the, the fucking if it wasn't to build morale, you could sell tickets to that shit. I mean, I'd buy them front row fucking seats. With all that being said and Black Clover just looking, you know, amazing next week. I honestly cannot wait for future episodes.